Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to solve this given exponential equation similar to one of those Olympiad math questions. And before we go ahead with our solution, for those students who are new to my channel, you may consider clicking the like button and subscribing to my channel and check out my playlist solving exponential equation for more of this kind of videos. So now let's start. So we have this equation. 5 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x is equal to 369. So how do we solve this equation? If we square the left side of the equation, we must square the right hand side of the equation as well. But I don't think it works that way, but uh, what about squaring the left side of the equation without squaring the right hand side? What do you think? But then whenever we square the left hand side, we must square the right hand side as well. So what should we do? Is squaring the left hand side but not the right hand side. So the best way to do then is to manipulate the exponent of the terms on this left hand side of the equation. How are we going to manipulate the exponent? But similar to squaring the whole left side of the equation without squaring the right hand side of the equation. Let's see here on the left hand side of the equation. 5 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x. If we square this, we must square the right hand side. As well. Right? So what should we do to solve this equation without squaring the right hand side? So considering, if we consider squaring just this one right here, the left hand side, we have here 5 to the power of x minus 4 to the power of x. If we square that, and then we divide it by 2 also. So that means to the power of 2 over 2. So there's no need to square the right-hand side, right? What do you think? Okay, so let's do it this way then. What if uh, we, we do this, distribute this exponent to both terms, right? So that will be 5 to the power of x raising the exponent 2 over 2. And the next term the same way, right? So we, we will end up manipulating the exponent, right? And we avoided squaring the right-hand side of the equation. So we'll be using this uh, exponent formula, exponent rule, that is, if we have the base A, exponent M, raised to exponent N, that will be the same as a to the exponent m times n. So we'll be multiplying the exponent, right? And so from here, we can manipulate the exponents, right? Okay, so let's do that. So now we have here 5 to the power of x raising to exponent 2 over 2 minus 4 to the power of x raised to exponent the same way, 2 over 2, is equal to 369. And so this way, we don't need to square the right-hand side now, since 2 over 2 is equal to 1. So it won't change the value of the each terms of the left-hand side of the equation. All right, so let's go ahead, manipulate the exponents, right? How do we manipulate? So the exponent. So let's say here, 5 to the power of x, we can put in the uh, denominator, right? So it will end up just this, this numerator left out of the parentheses, right? So this now becomes x over 2 to the power of 2. So this means we're like squaring this term by itself. So we do that on this next term right here. So this is now minus 4 to the power of x. We're putting the denominator 2 on the bottom, right? So x over 2. And then raise the whole term to exponent 2. And 369, the right-hand side. So this is from the exponent formula. Base a to the power of m raised to exponent n is equal to a to the power of m times n. So we're multiplying the exponents, but 
in this case, we manipulated the exponent and leaving out the numerator of the exponents over here, 2 over 2. There's a numerator left out of the parentheses on both terms. So let's go ahead with our solution again. And so the equation is now transformed this way. What do you think of this? We have the square here minus the exponent is square again right there. So this is coming out as a special factor, right? One of the special factors in algebra, a squared minus b squared, right? So let's designate this value over here. So we're introducing variable in place of these two terms, base, two bases. So let's say we have let 5 to the power of x over 2b equal to, let's put that as a. And the second term, the base, 4 to the power of x over 2, let uh, 4 to the power of x over 2b equal to b. So we have a and b representing these terms. So now let's substitute this variable into our equation. So 5 to the power of x over 2 is a. So we have a squared minus b squared equals 369. So the left-hand side of the equation is in the form of difference of squares. From the special factors in algebra, we have that a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times the quantity a minus b. So we have here a plus b times a minus b is equal to 369. So the left-hand side is expressed in two factors. So the right-hand side must be expressed in two factors the same way. And so what are the factors of 369? So we'll be using 9 times 41 on this side. Right, since 9 times 41 is 369. And our equation now becomes a plus b times the quantity a minus b. And if you if you take a look at these factors, a plus b must be bigger than a minus b, right? So the right hand side now becomes 41 times 9, right? So from here we're equating the sum of these two variables a plus b equating to 41 and the difference of these variables will be equated to 9. a minus b is the smaller factor compared to a plus b so now we have a plus b is equal to 41 and a minus b is equal to 9. From here, we have two equations, right? So we can consider this as equation 1 and this is equation 2. And if we take a look at these two equations, we can solve for the variable a or b, right? If you notice, this is positive and negative, so we can add this both. So we ended up canceling b. So we have 2a is equal to 50. Solving for a. This is equal to 50 over 2, or is equal to 25. So A is 25. Solving for B, from here, A minus B is equal to 9, and A is 25. So 25 minus B equals 9. B is equal to 25 minus 9 is equal to 16. So B is 16. So we have B. 16 and a is 25. So from here, let's recall that a is equal to 5 to the power of x over 2. So we get the value of x from here since we have the value of a already. So we have 5 to the power of x over 2 equals a is 25. And this can be expressed in terms of base 5. So that is 5 squared, right? So we have now 
5 to the power of x over 2 equals 5 squared. We have the same base, so we have x over 2 is equal to 2. We can equate their exponents. And so x is equal to 4. And the second one is we have value of variable b, substituted variable. And let's recall also that b is equal to 4 to the power of x over 2. And this is equal to 16. So we have 4 to the power of x over 2 equals 16. And 16 can be expressed in terms of base 4. That is 4 squared, right? So we have the same base. This means that we can equate their exponents, right? So x over 2 equals 2. Then x is equal to 4. That's the same way as over here. And so next, we'll be checking our answer. So let's check our answer. We have our equation, 5 to the power of x, x is 4. So we have 5 to the power of 4 minus 4 to the power of 4. Is this equal to 369? 5 to the power of 4 is 625 minus 4 to the power of 4 is 256. And subtracting these two numbers, 625 minus 256 is 369. So this is equal to 369. So this confirms that the value of x4 is correct. Alright, so this is now our final answer. And so that's all for now. And for any one of you who would like to learn more of different kinds of techniques in solving exponential equations, you might as well visit my channel and check out my playlist, Solving Exponential Equations, for more of these kinds of videos. And if you are a student, you might as well consider subscribing to my channel so you won't miss out any future uploads of these kinds of videos. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.